everyone. Thank you for joining today's recording. Uh, today we're going to be covering the grants deliverable calendar. So this is basically creating a calendar to track uh, any deliverables that you might have um, associated with uh, an incoming grant. Oftentimes when we work with organizations, they say, uh, you know, there's just so many things that we need to track uh, when you know, either in the uh, grant seeking stage of things uh, or the award stage or even post award. And we need a place to track all the key deliverables that are due uh, and also create some transparency so others can see it as well. Um, so this is just uh, some, some tips and tricks uh, in creating a grants deliverable calendar uh, within your nonprofit cloud NPSP Salesforce system. So let's just go directly into the system here. And I'll show you how to do it. Um, so this is a fictitious uh, nonprofit here, Steps, and I went ahead and created a grant. So this is a grant that we are uh, very close to winning with the, uh, that's being granted by the city of New York. So, you know, I'll look at just some basic sample grant information. Uh, I have my organization, the city of New York, that is, uh, that is the funder here in this case. It's a, it's a $45,000 grant, you know, so it's going to close today. And I have my key grant information. Again, this is using the standard out of the box grant record type um, in the NPSP. And uh, let's say I get to a point where we have been awarded the grant. So I'm going to change the stage. I can do this a couple different ways, but I'm going to uh, select awarded here, mark that as the current stage. And so uh, great news, we've, we've, uh, we've won the grant. So uh, now what I want to do, and we're going to see the stage here just change in a second. There we go. It's now in an awarded state. And now I'm going to start creating the uh, post award deliverables. And again, I can do this both. Uh, I can use the deliverables object here for pre-award, but in this case, I'm going to use it for some of the post award deliverables that are due. So I'm going to create one new deliverable here. And I'm going to say that this is the uh, intro report. Um, and this, I can just mark this as uh, it's one of our reports that let's do. And I have a due date here. I'm going to put this in the, you know, just to make things real simple uh, in the first week of February. And then I'm going to create a second deliverable. And this will be, let's say, an interview that we need to, uh, that needs to take place. Uh, this is the phone interview. Check in. Um, and we'll call this, we'll put this in the status of interim report. I can leave this blank if I wanted to, and I can put more details about the requirements. Um, but just to kind of illustrate, I'm just going to put uh, three different deliverables here. And then let's just say, hypothetically, there's uh, another report. We'll say that this is the... Um, the financial background check that needs to be done. And I'm going to set this to the end of the week. So these are three deliverables that are due next week. Again, I can add more details if I want, and I'm going to hit save. So now I have these three uh, deliverables that are due. It's great. Um, I can create reports off of this. I can create um, uh, dashboard items off of this, no problem. But I wanted to show you how you can use the calendar to track this as well. So uh, what I'm going to do here is go to the app launcher and go to my calendar. And you're probably familiar with this calendar for uh, you know capturing your events and that type of thing. But what you may not know is you can create custom calendars here. So I'm going to say new calendar. And I'm going to select, in this case, I can select any object I want, but I'm going to select the deliverable object. Whoops. There we go, deliverable. And then it asks me, what do you want to call this? I'm going to call this the, the grant deliverable calendar. And I'm going to base this calendar off the due date. I have a few options here, but in this case, I'm going to go with a due date. I'm not going to apply any filters here. I want it to apply to all grants. And I want it to show the deliverable name here. So let me make sure I have that. There we go. And so when I hit save, uh, what you will see here is that I can ha I have this grant deliverable shows up. And if I push things to next week, and I have my grant deliverable here checked. 
you will see those items up here. Hold on one second, let me get to that week. There we go. So now you can see that I have my intro report. For, so, you know, this is a very simple example, but obviously if I had multiple grants across multiple work streams, I can use this grant calendar to uh, automatically pull any deliverables associated with grants here on this calendar. Uh, so uh, I've shown this to several organizations and they're like, oh, wow, this is great. I don't need to create a separate calendar for all the deliverables. Um, all I need to do is create this, this uh, simple calendar here and it's gonna automatically pull the deliverables for me and I can see them all in one place. And, and just you know, using the standard functionality with the calendar, I can look at it from a month view, you know, whatever I want. Uh, the one little caveat there, I will say, though, it, it, up until now, and unless this has changed, and I think Salesforce might change this at a later point, uh, this is not something I can then uh, share to other people, um, this particular calendar that I created. Uh, but what we often do, as you saw, it took me about two minutes to create. So uh, what I've done in the past is I've shared this with my other team members at the nonprofit and said, hey, you know, just like I created this simple calendar, you do the same. That way we'll all have visibility into the grant deliverables that are due. So uh, hopefully this is helpful for you and a great way to visualize the upcoming de uh, uh, grant deliverables that are due for your nonprofit. Uh, so thank you very much for attending uh, today's recording. Uh, really appreciate your time. And uh, you know, in case you'd like to learn more about what we do at one tenth, uh, we do everything from blueprinting, business process mapping, to implementation of your uh, CRM. Uh, project management, user adoption, and everything in between. So don't hesitate to reach out to us, uh, and we're happy to have a phone call with you and, and discuss uh, any needs that you might have around your nonprofit technology. And in the interim, feel free to uh, follow us on our social media. Thanks so much for your time.